Hi everybody, it's Iron Cat 4. So just wanted to uh, give you a pretty good demonstration of the brand new iOptron AZ Pro mount. Uh, this mount is on the uh, 1.75 tripod, which is so far more than ample. Uh, the uh, eight inch Celestron balance really well. We've, uh, we're running the two inch diagonal and two inch eyepieces. So uh, I did in fact remove uh, Star Sense and uh, Star Finder on there. So we are balanced and ready to go. Clutch is locked. We're gonna give this a, a flip of a power switch and we'll go through this process with you and let you see this. So we're gonna enter until we run the uh, alignment wizard. Performing self calibration. This thing is quiet. I don't know if you can hear the birds in the background, but it's extremely quiet, which is uh, a plus. I'm used to the uh, Celestron CGX and it's pretty, uh, pretty loud. This has been really quiet. So we'll just let this run through a sequence and uh, we'll see how we fare. And it uh, automatically goes to the brightest item in the sky, which currently is the moon. So we'll uh, take a look. And it's telling us to uh, use the left or right key to center the brightest target and then enter to confirm. So I'll take a look. Now, keep in mind, when you center, it's not uh, picking up the altitude, so we're going to enter. And the next key is going to actually allow me to center the item, which is really nice and clear. So we are centered really well, so we're going to hit enter to confirm. So we are, in fact, locked on. Now that's just a single, single item that we've centered on. So I feel confident we can uh, add a couple centers and lock. So just for the initial, uh, there you go. Uh, so you'll notice I do have the counterbalance in the secondary saddle on them. Uh, preparing to go ahead and mount the second. So, you'll get a video on that one here soon. But so far, this thing uh, packed extremely well. Um, I'll upload some photographs because uh, UPS delivered my package. And uh, I was concerned that there was going to be quite a bit of damage, even though the box was actually tore open. Um, it did survive. It did make it with no damage. Um, thankfully, it was packed internally well. So... So far, things are looking up.